Modern technology allows people to exchange information directly. Whether it be voice, video calls, email, media files travel directly from A to B, maintaining trust between people however far apart they are. But when it comes to money, people have to trust a third party. This causes a numerous amount of problems in our day-to-day -day lives, as this system comes with its own shortcomings. For example, a bank may be closed, or your accounts might get frozen, or the bank itself might go bankrupt, which is a conundrum in itself. Addressing these issues became a must, and blockchain technology is challenging the status quo of the system. So let's understand what exactly is blockchain technology using a day-to-day -day example. Imagine you're at a table with a group of friends and together devise a system to track each other's expenditure. You have also created a protocol to keep everything systematic. Firstly, every time you spend some money, your expenditure is publicly announced to the other three friends. Every transaction also comes with a math problem. Now the first person who solves the math problem gets a chance to verify the integrity of the transaction as to whether it is truthful or not. Once the math problem is solved, everybody else participating in the protocol can verify whether the problem has been solved in an acceptable manner. If yes, the person who ended up solving the problem gets a small reward and the transaction is finally verified. Let's see how this analogy compares to blockchain technology. Now suppose one of your friends participating in the Discuss protocol spends some money. He goes ahead and announces his deeds to the rest. Similarly, in a blockchain-based network, whenever a transaction is committed, it is publicly broadcasted to everybody participating in the network. Now this transaction comes with a mathematical problem. This mathematical problem is the basis of trust between the group of friends. As soon as the problem is broadcasted, a race begins between the participating members to earn the reward that comes with the computational effort. Similarly, on a blockchain network, a race starts among the participating members to solve the math. Here the math problem is referred to as consensus, while the race to solve the problem in order to earn the reward is analogous to mining. Once a member of the group solves the problem in an acceptable manner, his technique can be verified by the other participating members. If anything is fishy, they can just ignore the proposed solution and move on with solving the problem. Else, the transaction is deemed valid and the victorious person is rewarded for his triumph. On a blockchain network, particularly the Bitcoin protocol, works in a similar fashion. Once a transaction is broadcasted, and consensus between participating members is reached using computational work as a basis of trust, the verifying member is rewarded with bitcoins or the network-specific cryptocurrency. Now, once the transaction is completed, the group of friends write down the result into their separate clipboards, which contain a log of all the previous transactions. These separate clipboards are called ledgers on a blockchain network, and everybody participating in the network has their own separate copy. Now, each ledger contains critical information regarding the transactions. These include timestamps, which is information which tells us when the transaction was committed, and transaction information, example, the sender address, the receiver address, and the amount sent. And finally, it contains a hash of the current and previous transaction. The hash can be thought of as a secret signature which verifies the integrity of the transaction for future verification. Now, the ledger data is then stored into blocks, where each block contains a hash which points to the previous block, a list of transactions leading to the currently committed transaction, and a block hash to identify the current block. The previous block hash is critical to the protocol. This system allows blocks to point at the previous transaction and thus create a chain of blocks which gives the technology the name blockchain. Not only does hashing help in identifying the previous block up until the genesis block, but it also provides us with a way to identify any fraudulent changes someone might try to make. This is because a slight change in the input into a hash function changes the hash or digest completely which is a clear giveaway for something fishy going on in the network protocol. So blockchain technology can be summarized as a distributed ledger technology that underlies cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and provides a way to record and transfer data that is transparent, secure, auditable, and resistant to outages. Blockchain technology has the ability to make organizations that implement it transparent, democratic, decentralized, efficient, and secure. Blockchain technology is likely to disrupt many services in the coming 10 years. Services like payment methods, supply chain industries, real estate exchange, and identity verification like KYC have already seen the light of blockchain technology at its revolutionary attempt to decentralize the world. Now that you know about blockchain technology, jump with the crowd on the current hype train and never feel missed out. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!